Yo, what is going on, everybody? My name is Connor, but you guys can call me Superior. And today, you guys will be watching uh, one of the best gameplays I have ever posted on YouTube. And it, sadly, it's not my gameplay. Um, but this, I thought this gameplay was so incredibly impressive that it was just too good to pass up and that I needed to upload to my channel. And this gameplay that is so beast, so amazing, so incredibly awesome is the world's first quad chem strike with the K7. Now, what, getting one chem strike is a feat in itself. Getting two chem strikes is amazing. Getting three chem strikes is nearly unthinkable. But getting four chem strikes in one game with an extremely underused weapon that rarely anyone touches, I think, is enough for you guys to be able to go over to Phonix channel and subscribe to him because Phonix is one of my really good friends, um, you know, on YouTube and Twitch and whatnot and on the internet. Uh, he just started a channel, he just started streaming, and so far it's going great for him. He's sitting at right, in, right now about at 160 something subscribers. And I think that if all you guys could go over there and subscribe to him, um, you know, it would really mean a lot to me and I know it'd mean a lot to him. So definitely go over to his channel and subscribe to him because let's be honest guys four chem strikes in one game i've never done it and chances are most of you haven't done it um so i definitely think it deserves a sub subscription from you guys and uh you know all the support in the world so if we could throw him over 200 subscribers after this video not like 200 subscribers from this video but if he could be sitting at about like 250 subscribers i think that'd mean the world to him and uh, you guys definitely would make someone stay so feel free to go check out his channel uh, sadly, this isn't my gameplay, and I just wanted to point out that I know there's like an overlay on the screen and a webcam and everything like that, and I wanted to apologize for that because I know so many of my videos as, as of recent have had that on it, but I personally, for one, enjoy it. I think that it adds kind of a more interactive aspect to a YouTube video. Like, for example, the webcam, you can kind of see how the player uh, interacts with certain situations. Like, if he dies close to a chem strike, you can see him, like, throw his arms up in the air and mouth the words, like, fuck me, or throw his controller against the wall or something like that. And that's just something that you can't really get from a normal gameplay uh, without the webcam or anything like that. And then, of course, it's always nice to have the chem count on the screen, uh, just so you can know how many chem strikes people have, because I can't tell you guys how many comments I get asking how many chem strikes I've gotten. And, you know, that always fluctuates so adding the chem count on the stream is something really nice to have and then also there's all the links and stuff like if you want to buy control freaks you can use the code doom it says that on there as a facebook twitter and youtube and everything like that so i personally like it i don't know if you guys do or don't but um yeah anyway the gun like i said is with the k7 now the k7 i don't know about you guys but if any of you guys have ever played call of duty 4 and use the mp5 in that game the k7 reminds me exactly like the mp5 now, the MP5 in that game was extremely good, and I would always play, like, free throw and I'd run around with its silence and, like, all my stealthy perks. And I was that one really sweaty kid that only went, like, 30 and 15 every free fall, so I wasn't very good. But the MP5 in Call of Duty 4, when you put suppressor on that, oh my god, it was a beast at close range, but did it suffer at long range. And the K7 is the exact same thing. Of course, the K7, you can't take off the suppressor attachment just because it's pretty much, like, built onto the weapon. It's like a free attachment, basically. So... Um, you know, it, it's not a really good gun at long range and you definitely have to pick your engagements and you can't just challenge anyone and everyone because obviously it's not going to work out for you in the end, but it is a great gun at close range and when you're running the spawns and you're doing it as well as Phonix is in this gameplay, um, then it definitely is a good gun and he manages to get four chem strikes with it. So, you know, I guess it's not that bad of a weapon. But like I said, guys, I do hope you guys enjoy this gameplay, and if you did, feel free to go to subscribe over to Phonics. I'll leave his Twitter and his YouTube channel down in the description. Feel free to go follow him over on Twitter. You can find out when he goes live and live streams and stuff like that, because he definitely is a really entertaining streamer. But if you guys did enjoy the com the commentary, also feel free to, su to subscribe to me, because you know this is my channel. So I do hope you guys enjoyed. You can also check the description for my Twitter and my live stream. Uh, to stay up to date when I go live and stuff like that. So do hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new. And drop a comment down below letting me know if you've ever got a chem strike. Even though I doubt many of you have. Because it is an extremely, extremely large feat. And extremely difficult to get. Other than that, have a fantastic day everybody. I am out.